Someone recently wanted to know what my opinion on Adderall is and is there any alternatives, okay? Adderall is a central nervous system stimulant used for ADHD, narcolepsy, increasing wakefulness, increasing cognition, increasing cognitive function like focus and memory, at least temporarily. But there are some side effects, okay? Uh, insomnia, dry mouth, loss of appetite, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, Raynaud's phenomena, which you're basically losing circulation of your fingertips, they're turning red, especially in the winter time. Increasing heart rate as tachycardia, erectile dysfunction, abdominal pain, constipation, nosebleeds, tics, as in certain twitching and body motions that are not under your control, and loss of bladder control. Now, if you do higher dosage, it could put you in a coma, and even worse, um, cause you to die. Other than that, it's perfectly fine, and I'm being very sarcastic. Again, I'm not telling you to get off any drugs, check with your doctor. This is just for you to do research on alternatives. Your brain is highly sensitive to nutrition and the fuel that you put in it. You can create some really amazing effects by changing your diet, especially when we get into the area of the brain called hippocampus, which is part of the limbic system. The number one most dangerous vitamin deficiency for the brain is low vitamin B1. And this comes from high carbohydrate diets. So here are some alternative things that I think could greatly help you. Start taking more B1 in the form of nutritional yeast. It's a natural form, especially if you get the one that's not enriched with synthetic B1s. You don't wanna start using synthetic vitamins. So you use nutritional yeast, maybe four tablespoons a day. If you get it in tablets, take six or eight tablets a day. You can chew them or swallow them. That will start giving you B1 and the brain will be very happy from that. And you definitely wanna drop the carbs. That's called the ketogenic diet. I put a link down below if you're new to my channel. DHA is the next most important um, thing that you can give the brain. It's, it forms the, the physical structure of your brain shellfish and fish. Vitamin D, which is not on the list, is very important as well. I would start taking at least 20,000 international units of vitamin D. You want to take K2 with that as well. That's good for depression, but it's also good for the brain in general. Zinc, very, very essential. But guess what? If you're doing shellfish several times a week, you'll get the zinc but you can also just take zinc as well. You can also get zinc in seaweed, as in roasted seaweed or sea kelp. Intermittent fasting will greatly improve the brain and the cognitive function, and actually you can even regrow brain cells that way. And by the way, if you're in ketosis, ketones themselves are very beneficial to your brain cells. And so this is why you maybe wanna add some MCT oil to boost the amount of ketones to the brain to help the brain function better. Uh, this will provide the fuel that the brain needs versus the glucose, which is probably not working. Now there's also a great remedy, uh, which I really like. It's called lion's mane uh, mushroom. And it's good for focus and concentration. And you can start off taking one per day and increasing two a day until you achieve the focus that you want. So these are the things I would recommend if you're transitioning off Adderall under your doctor's supervision. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.